Hello and welcome to another video. This is quite an exciting one for me. Um, I said a few weeks ago that I had something pretty exciting coming up um, and that maybe it wasn't a good idea to do it, but I did it anyway. Um, and pretty much what I did is I bought my dream car. not like some crazy supercar or anything like that. I don't have that kind of money, but it's my attainable dream car. It's something I've wanted ever since I was a teenager in high school. Um, it was just, I loved this car when it came out. I was a big fan of the brand and um, I'm just really excited because I've been looking out for them for a little while, thinking I'd probably never buy one because they're not very practical. But um, in the end, I decided what the heck I'm gonna do it because a good one came up and um, it's just over there and I'm keep looking at it because I'm very excited to show you all my Honda S2000 Whoa. Let's talk about this car. It's a 2003, so it is an AP1 with the two liter high revving naturally aspirated VTEC engine. It's a really nice car. So 2003 had a few updates over the previous years. I think halfway through 2002, they added in the glass rear window with the demisters. Um, upgraded stereo so we've got some tweeters here and they importantly for me uh, they beefed up the air conditioner a bit um, here in Australia it gets very hot so and at the moment it is peak summer and we've just had a couple of really hot weeks and it's been terrible my skylines air conditioning is not working um, but now I've got this woohoo so what are the things that I like about this car? Well, what I like about this car is how everything feels. The shifter feels really good. Honda just make really good shifters. Um, every Honda sh manual shifter that I've experienced has been fantastic. And this one is probably the best of them. The steering wheel, it feels really good. The feedback from the steering feels really good. Everything just feels really precise. Um, it just feels good, everything just feels good. Like it just feels like a sports car. Like, um, but surprisingly, even though the suspension is set up quite firm, it still rides bumps much better than say, for example, the RX-8 did. Or I feel like it might even be a little bit better than the, um, the Skyline even. Um, so that has come as a really, really big surprise and it's a pleasant one. I don't mind it at all. It handles brilliantly, but the suspension, it doesn't feel soft. It feels, um, it must just be really well damped or something. I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not a suspension aficionado, so I don't know a lot about suspension setups. I just know that this one feels good. So this one has the full leather red interior. Uh, so with Silverstone is the paint color for the outside. I was a bit umming and ahhing about whether I should go ahead with the full red. It looked very overwhelming in pictures. My wife think, thought it looked terrible. Um, but I decided to take the jump, the, the plunge, um, because this car was the right price. And uh, it arrived and I like it. So uh, that's a relief. Um, yeah, just everything about this car. It has like rattles and like you can tell it's an older car. And it has a few funky things. 
wrong with it. Um, so it's by no means perfect, obviously. It's from 2003, and what are we in now? 2017. So it's an old car, um, but like, I just don't care. All the rattles in my skyline bugged me to no end, um, but in this one, I don't care. This is my dream car, and I love it, and it feels so good to drive, and uh, people arc on about like Hondas, and like, they just make fun cars. It's just fun to drive. And that's kind of what I'm looking for, is a car that's just fun to drive. Um, yeah, it's just good. So flat around the corners. It just, it handles well. I haven't pushed it too much yet, but it feels like, like I've not started, I haven't started leaning on the tires yet. It's just all chassis. Just feel everything's great about it. I really like it. I'm really excited that I own this car now. And even though it just so I saw I had it in a convertible 350Z, um, and I sold that because I decided I need back needed back seats. Um, so then I bought the RX8, and then I sold that because I you know needed a better daily drive because uh, you know it didn't have a lot of torque. It was only a small engine. Um, and I had to warm it up, that was a big thing. Thankfully, I don't have to do that with this one. Um, and then I sold that. Got the Skyline, and the Skyline was just boring. So here I am, going back to all the, to no back seats, <laughs> to a small four-cylinder engine with nowhere near the kind of torque that the Skyline has. But I don't care, it's just so good. I just love it so much. I've only owned it for a few days now, but it's just great. It's just fantastic. It's all the little niggly things I just don't care about because the car is just so enjoyable to drive. And hopefully that doesn't wear off when I start driving in peak hour traffic. I go back to work next week, but I don't think it will. Definitely a noisy car, that's for sure. Putting the roof up doesn't doesn't um, shelter you from all the noises as much as it did in my 350Z convertible. But that's, you know, I mean, it's a raw sports car pretty much. That's what this is. So there are definitely a lot of mechanical noises that I'm not used to hearing. And I sort of think, oh, is there something wrong? But I don't think there is. I think it's just, you can hear everything that's going on with the car. Um, there are a couple of things that I will get Honda to check out. Um, but I mean, yeah. It's just, you know, everything about it, it's just a great sports car. It's just so much fun to drive and that's what I'm looking for in a car. So I'm really happy. Yeah, look forward to more videos on this car because I am stoked about it. Um, so this will be my motivation to make more videos. And hopefully, um, there are a lot of Honda S2000 fans out there so we can, I can get some more subscribers, subscribers to motivate me to make more videos because, um, I enjoy making them, but if no one's watching them, then kind of what's the point, I suppose. So, yeah, that's all I can think of for now. Give the video a thumbs up, because that helps the videos go up in the rankings so that more people see them. And subscribe if you haven't already, because that shows me that people are interested. If you have any comments about the car, any questions about the car, let me know, and I'll try and make some videos answering those questions um, if there's something you don't know about the Honda S2000 and you're thinking about buying one ask me and I will figure it out for you and um, yeah I'm really excited I hope you guys are excited to see more videos on the Honda S2000 have a good one